Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again. Today we have the Julia and you may be wondering, didn't I build this thing already? I did, but not for drifting. I wanted to actually really go ahead and try to build this this uh, this car for drifting in this game or as a drift spec in this game. I've already done it for a race. It was alright. It wasn't that bad. But for drifting, is it any good? Should you actually get this thing for drifting? So of course this is one of the newer cars that were added into the game. Alfa Romeo Julia and... Uh, is it any good for drifting? Obviously, first of all, we're gonna have to build it, which is exactly what I'm gonna end up doing. And then, I'll take it out and I'll drive it. So, anything that's crazy, outrageous for this thing, I will put on wide body, anything, I'll do it for this video. The previous video, I was sort of iffy with whatever I put on. Um, however, this time, I am down to go with a little bit of wide body, a little bit of crazier action sort of stuff here. Just anything. So... Again, wide body, if it works well, I'm putting it on. I'm not putting I'm not turning it into a touring car, so I'm not gonna put that. I will put this kit though. Doesn't look too bad. Front canards, am I bothered with the canard? Nah, not really, to be honest. Let's have a look at our little splitter here. Can we add anything interesting here? That doesn't look too bad. Probably go with that. Everything else looks pretty pretty bad. So this is what our front end looks like. It's Pretty much nice race spec in the front end. And I think it does match it quite well. I'm not really sure how I feel about this. I feel like if the if the actual like little grills the bottom left and right were like the diamond shape that the actual grill of the car is, I think they would look a little bit nicer. And I probably would have chosen this one. But since it doesn't look like that, I'm not gonna choose it. So for our side skirts here, not really a lot of stuff to choose from. Maybe something that matches the front end, right? So something that's... Actually, what's the rear end going to look like? Let's do that first. So we got our alchemist kit here, which... Is this the one that we have on? I think it is. I oh, know, it's also the need for speed kit, right? The alchemist kit actually doesn't look too bad if I go wide body with that, but I'm going to go a little bit wider with the need for speed kit, which is pretty much very similar to like a rocket bunny type kit, which is fine. I'm perfectly fine with that. This looks a little bit more aggressive, I guess, than the stock. Adding some vents and stu stuff like that. I like this alchemist kit, though, so I'm putting this on. Not too bad. Uh, can't really change anything else there. Our diffuser actually looks fine the way it is now. I don't really know if I want to change it to anything else. Maybe something like this. Just so it's carbon fiber instead. It looks decent. This actually looks pretty good as well. There's some really nice diffusers for this, uh, for this alpha. I'm not going to lie. There's some really, really nice ones. I'll probably choose this one, which is probably the same one that I've chosen for the previous uh, for the previous build. I'm not gonna lie, it does look very very similar. Our exhaust, I'll go with something simple. I'm not. Oh Jesus Christ, no! Definitely not putting these on. All right, these are going on. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now for our wing, I'm definitely down to change it to a proper proper spoiler, a proper wing. I am definitely down to do that just to make it look a little bit more crazy, I guess. So. Uh, Anything that we could choose here? I'm not choosing this. I'm not choosing the chassis mount. I will choose something big though, so probably this. This APR wing would probably do. Tail lights, slightly darker, I guess. Sure, that'll be alright. Uh, side skirts, I know I didn't change, so... I guess these are alright. Just the normal ones. Just the full-on camera fiber ones just don't suit it at all. So just this one, I guess. Just so it's something different. Uh, as for our headlights... I'm gonna go ahead and just sort of darken them a little bit. Don't want to do anything crazy to that. Uh, our roof option, we could change so it has carbon fiber roof, which I'm definitely gonna do because it looks better. Wing mirrors, can we get just the same mirrors with carbon fiber? We cannot, so I'm not gonna choose anything there. I guess that's pretty much it for this. It, I don't know how much different this actually looks to the uh, to the car I actually built before, but I mean, I don't mind the way it looks. I really don't. Now, since there's a huge selection of wheels in this game, I gotta go ahead and take my time choosing the right one, the one that I think looks great, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, so I went with these beautiful HREs. They, I love these wheels so much. Like, even in real life, for anybody that puts these on their cars, so good. So, so good. Very, very nice wheels. I really, really like them. So, I guess that's pretty much it for our build. For our sound tuning, it is as low as possible. However, I am gonna add bags on them because, just because. You know, just because. Uh, we can change our underglow as well from here, which I just realized. I never actually do this. I just don't bother at all. We can change the... We, we have so many of them. I have so many underglow. 
Look at the amount of them that I actually have here. I, I didn't even know that I actually have this many. I don't really know if I want to put any... Sure, I'll just do it just because. I'll just do it just because. But I don't usually put underglow on any of my cars. Same with nitrous color and all that sort of stuff. A suspension, I'll put it on. Because just because it looks a little bit better. Yeah, I, I never put any of this like on a, on a real life car, to be completely honest with you guys. But there you go. This is pretty much what our previous car looked like. Well, it looked pretty much like a touring car. And not exactly like this. However, I'm going to go ahead and go to the community and see what people have actually designed for this thing. So, I'm not going to go with anything too insane here, design-wise. Um... It is a drift car, right? But... This looks pretty. <laughs> just get distracted immediately. It actually does look, look... Look really nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's very outlandish, right? What's this look like? The white and black? With the Italian flag in the middle? It's, it's, uh, it's not bad. It really isn't. It's a very, very neat little design as well. It's, it's nothing too crazy here. With this, of course, I'm not gonna choose red again because I've already chosen it before. What's gray look like with this crazy stuff on the hood? See, I'm always a big fan of gray. Always, always a big fan of gray. If it's done correctly, then then I'm a big fan of it. This one could work actually. A little bit of red in the rear end and gray in the front. It doesn't look terrible at all. Actually, I don't really mind it to be honest. It's uh, something a little bit interesting. I think. I'd probably change the wheels to black for this, though, because I think they'll match it a little bit better. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Let's put it on. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. Have a little bit of grey and red here. So that means that if I go back to the wheels again, I'm going to have to turn these... I'm going to have to turn these black now. So, we'll edit the paint. Get them to be black. Apply to all rims. Just glossy black is perfectly fine. I don't want to go with anything matte or anything like that, because I just... I don't think it'll look great. Oh, yeah, it looks better. It definitely looks better. So yeah, this is our little alpha as a level 399 in drift spec. Let's have a look. Take a little screenshot of that. Let's have a look and see what this thing is actually like. Oh, it's got pretty much very, very similar specs to the way the race spec was. So about 1,200 horsepower, which is pretty insane. But, I mean, it should be pretty fun to drive. Hopefully it's as responsive as some of the best cars out there. Because I kind of want this car to do well. Um, I just hope it's... Uh, I just hope it's a good car. Anyway, let's try to drive this thing and see what it's like. Alright, back at drifting the block. Let's uh, have a look and see if this is any decent at getting points here. I mean, this is the this is the purpose of this. I don't understand why the rear taillights don't come on. Well, they maybe they are on, but they're so faint. I can't even see them. It's alright. Honestly. It's pretty simple to drive. I feel like this is another one of those cars that you'd kind of want to drive in manual. It just doesn't... It just gets stuck in third gear. And I can't get it at, Like, it's... Yeah, I don't, I don't really like driving this game. I'm, I'm changing it to manual. I'm restarting this whole thing completely. And I'm changing my, my transmission to manual. Because it just gets stuck in third gear. And... It just hits off the limiter without doing anything, so let's go to settings, change our driving to manual. Yes, I do want to save changes. Alright. Much better. Alright, what's it like in fourth gear now? There you go, you can stretch your slides for much longer. I like this a lot better. Alright, I like it better. Let's just restart it for the last time now. I just wanted to see what it was like, just at the very beginning. It's good. It's much better. It's much, much better because it just gets stuck in third gear and I can't stretch it out at all. Even if I do anything, like if I if I hit NOS or if I just do anything, it just stays in third gear. It's just being stupid. Um, so it's just one of those one of those times where drifting this drifting a car in manual is just a lot better. Oh, it's much better. Even just keeping it in fourth, I don't have to change it to anything else. I don't have to change gear down at the third or anything for any of these corners. I can just keep my speed up and it's perfectly fine. Oh, I can stretch it out now. It's so much better. I was so restricted just by just by staying in automatic in third gear. It was just so bad. Oh, it's much better. 
Much, 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 much better. All right, cool. Let's just continue this. It's not a bad car. I really should use NOS. I never do it. Because it does help. But I never just use it. I feel like I'm fine without it. I feel like if I use NOS, it'll just... I'll end up straightening up, and I'll mess up my run. That's why I don't use it that often. Usually when I'm just slowing down, but I mean, this thing has 1,200 horsepower, and I just don't feel like it's slowing down anytime soon. I actually like it. I really do like this car a lot. It was absolutely terrible on automatic. Absolutely horrific on automatic, but on manual... Once it changes to manual, boom. Easy 1,000, or 1,000, Jesus. Easily 1.4 million points. Pfft. And that's me being terrible at this game. I, I think I could definitely do a lot better if I just keep trying over and over again, but... 1.4 million points is much better. Much, much, much better than I expected. Well, that's cool. I like it. It, it tries really well. Just don't play with it on, uh, just don't play with it on, um, on automatic, and you should be fine. It drives great, really. It does. I like it. All right. Well, that's I guess it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to play with this car a little bit more. Maybe try to grind my way into getting some more points. I don't know. I'll see. But uh, it's a decent car. It really is. So if you do end up getting this car pack or whatever, or you just buy this car for by itself, can you buy it by itself? I don't even know to be completely honest. I bought all of them. Um, but if you can buy it by itself and you want it, I think you have like a decent drift car. It drives pretty well as a race car as well. I've done a build on that. So if you guys want to check that out, it's on the channel. Um, but as a drift car, just make sure you play with it in manual so it doesn't get stuck in third gear like, uh, like it did for me. And it's, it's actually a little bit more enjoyable, a little bit easier to control once it's in fourth because you don't have to try and sort of stretch it out as much as you possibly can in third because it doesn't want to change gear. Uh, and just keep it in fourth all the time for that for that circuit and it's perfectly fine. has all the power in the world to be able to accelerate from like really low in the revs uh, up to really high in the revs um, in fourth and let it spin its wheels. It just does it very easily anyway. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like and also if you want to see more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I will continue with the revisited series um, very soon, obviously. Uh, I'm not finished just yet, but I wanted to sort of go ahead and do a build this time because I kind of wanted to see what this thing was like as a drift car. And instead of me just doing it for myself to see what, it, what it's like, I guess I'll show you guys if you were maybe interested in buying this as a drift car. Well. Again, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.